had somebody ask me to lick them in the eyeball. Sexually? I didn't. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> Joining us is a new special guest, my sex bruises. You gave a dude a blumpkin brain? <laughs> Live on the edge. Welcome to a brand new episode of High Strung with me, Rebecca Oursalt. Also, my boobs are here, but again, and I have a sex bruise, but my boobs. Minute of silence for my boobs. Should Moment of silence for how fat I was. I lost a fifth grader. Not in weight, I actually lost somebody's fifth grader. <laughs> <laughs> I should not babysit. He's gone, I don't know. I'm sure he has a better life now. So, we are back. If you missed the first five episodes of High Strong, don't watch them. I was fat, now I'm not. Uh, but I will recap a little bit about what the show is and what we do here. I am the operations manager here at Stoned Media Group. I have the reputation of being pretty angry and apparently scary to some of our models all the time. And the staff really likes to piss me off here. So what they have done is gotten together, brainstormed some topics that they thought were really gonna make me angry. They wrote them down on these cards, and every week I pick a new card, and, or two, or three, depending, and we talk about it, and it's pretty funny. So, today we have guys springing weird fetishes on you out of nowhere. That's not a problem. I think more of the problem is like me springing fetishes on guys out of nowhere. I'm curious as to the weird fetishes. I think that all depends on where you met that man because if you met that man on FetLife, he has every reason to spring a weird fetish on you out of nowhere and I'm into that. And also I'm on FetLife, you can find me. Guys springing weird fetishes on you out of nowhere. I think that's funny when they don't spring it on you out of nowhere, but they slowly kind of try to introduce the fetish. Like all of a sudden it's like, I sent you a picture of me and then he's like, but show me what shoes you're wearing today. And then I sent him a picture of my shoes. And he's like, wow, those look really great, but they must hurt your feet. Why don't you take them off? Relax a little bit. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, let me see if they left any marks on your feet. And then you send him a picture of your feet. And then all of a sudden you get back just a picture of him ejaculating and that's, how you spring a fetish on somebody. You do it without them even realizing what they're doing. I've never actually had somebody spring a weird fetish on me. I don't know why. I wish that that would happen. Like, I wish that I would take home a man and then all of a sudden he puts a leather hood on and things happen. Uh, but that doesn't happen to me and that's sad. I sleep with a lot of boring dudes, I guess. I will say that guys it didn't spring a weird fetish on me. We had an agreement before he came over that it was going to, certain things were going to happen that some people might consider to be um, aggressive or deviant or out of the ordinary, not your normal, regular consensual sex. And then that went left pretty fast when he smacked me in the face really hard and then I cried. And that's not really that funny of a story. <laughs> anyway, I saw him again. He was a really nice guy and I think that I needed to cry sexually in front of a stranger to really express myself fully. Because once you sexually cry in front of a stranger when you're naked and handcuffed to a bed because he slapped you in the face unknowingly, you can do anything in front of that person. I could shit in front of that guy right now and I'd feel totally cool with it. And I think that more people need to be a little bit more open-minded like that. You need to maybe sometimes just physically have a catalyst to let yourself go and feel. And that's my sexual PSA for the day. Everybody hit your partners in the face as hard as you can when you get home. They'll thank you later for it. Don't do that, please. That's domestic abuse. Why is it gotta be guys? Why can't it be a lady spraying a weird fetish out of you out of nowhere? Maybe it's a lady spraying a weird fetish. Maybe it's her asking for pictures of my feet and, the <laughs> and then all of a sudden you find out that they have a foot fetish. That didn't happen to me, but that did happen to somebody here. Bree. It wasn't with a girl though. Nah, it was with a dude. He has a foot thing. She totally was into it. She played right on into it. I, I walk into her fucking bedroom still to this day sometimes. She's laying in her bed with like gym shorts on and her hair in a fucking bun hung over with heels on with her feet in the fucking air taking Snapchats. And I'm like, what's she doing? <laughs> you talking to your friend? Why are you doing that? I didn't know why she was doing it at first. And then I, finally I was like, yo, what do you do? Like, what's happening? I just wanted to show him my shoes because they're new shoes. Oh, really? Is he really that interested in your new fucking shoes or are you interested in your feet? She'll take, she'll Snapchat while we're getting pedicures sometimes. Yeah. 
She's into it. If you would like to send pictures of your feet to us, <laughs> we will receive them. You can on Snapchat at Bree2D2, B-R-E-E, numero two, D-T-O-O. Feel free to send us pictures of your feet and request feet pictures. We will send you those back. What's the weirdest fetish you've ever had somebody spring on you? Me? Anybody, and I'm pulling the room now. Choking people out. No, that's, that's, pretty really weird. Like, that's pretty basic, and for the record, I would never let you choke me out. I, but but I okay. wanted to smell my feet. It went, for, <laughs> it went further than I thought it Too bad technology go. doesn't allow you to do that yet. No, no, no. He, Did you send him socks? No, he, he would straight up smell my feet. Oh, you met him in real life? Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Where are you listening? I'm not going to judge. I've smelled your feet and I don't know how that. <laughs> <laughs> like I can smell your feet from so far away sometimes that I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. Weirdest fetish that's been sprung on you out of nowhere or the weirdest thing somebody's asked you to do sexually? Anybody? Oh, oh, oh I have a good one when I was 24. Uh, I had a guy that wanted me to blow him and then- On the toilet. No, blow him. <laughs> no, he wanted, so he wanted me to blow him and then spit it in his mouth. Yeah. Ow, like he snowballs. Snowball. I had a dude ask if he could pee on me once. I did have a guy on, I think it was Tinder that I matched with that tried really hard. Jesse was gonna come with me. He offered me money to come and pee in front of him and he said he was using the urine to feed his marijuana plants because there are nutrients in the urine that help them grow better. I don't, I don't know if that's true. Yoshi says no and he used to grow weed. So, okay, so the, a man lied to me. <laughs> a man lied to me about botany to try to get me to pee for him. He wanted he wanted to watch me pee and then he wanted to take my pee home with him. And he offered me money to do it and I legit was going to because Jesse was gonna do it with me. But then he wouldn't let me meet him with Jesse. He said she could come next time and that seemed like he was gonna kill me. I didn't go, but if you're out there, sir, I'm still not gonna pee for you for money. But I did have a guy ask if he could pee on me. And he was like, I just wanna really see if you'll let me do it. Like, you can lay in the bathtub, it's fine. Uh, he asked me if he could pee on me. Actually, fun, like, funny story, that guy did pee on me later on because we were super drunk and in bed together. Now I'm thinking that that was a lie. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm realizing that that guy asked me to pee, asked if he could pee on me, and I said no. And then like four months later, we woke up and he had peed on my back in the bed. And he was like, oh, it's because I was blackout drunk. And now I'm realizing that that was not, was not probably the case. That is very suspicious that that happened four months later. Anyway, guys, bringing weird fetishes you out of nowhere. Gwen, anything? You got anything? Got any weird fetishes? Got anything weird? Weird? Yeah, anything weird? Weird thing weird? Video of my ah, a lot of pee fetishes. Anyway, pee, Yoshi, you got any weird fetish? No, no girls do anything weird? You seem like the type of guy that gets tied up. <laughs> Why do you say that? You can take that how you want. <laughs> Michael, I feel like you've been yeah, real quiet back there. I feel I, like you got some weird shit to share. But we left you for last because I, just, I feel like uh, you got some weird shit. really liked to smell my armpits. That was pretty strange. That's a thing, that's a pheromones. I, that's a fairly common fetish. As always, thank you for watching a brand new episode of High Strung. If you want to see more of me but don't want to wait till next Thursday for a new video to come out, you can follow me on Instagram at Rebecca Ourselt, R E B E C C A H O U R S E L T, or you can follow our CEO, Brianna Whitehead, Snapchat, as I am a pretty big feature on there, and that is Bree2D2, wait for it, B R E E numero 2 D T O O. Once again, thank you, and we will see you next week.